Hey everyone, it's me again uh, here in the Philippines. I'm actually at Aroma Beach Resort today. So all work and no play lately. So me and the wife said uh, every so often we gotta take off more often and explore and see things, which my goal is to do that, you know, maybe once a week or once every other week because I live on such a beautiful island. But uh, yeah, I injured my foot and we've been building the house and we just haven't taken off and there's no excuse because we live in a tropical island so we can drive for i don't know a couple minutes in any direction and just see amazing things and i, I need to do that more often so If you're new to the channel, uh, my name's Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. She's over there actually cooking fish. And we moved from Chicago to the Philippines. So I'm born and raised in the US. And she is originally from the Philippines. She was with me for the US for quite some time because we're married. Um, but we had a long-term plan of moving over here permanently. Uh, so we've been very, very busy building the house and we haven't taken off as much as we'd like to. Uh, long story short i also injured my foot so that kind of slowed thing down as well but either way we had a day where we weren't doing too much at the house and we said all right so tomorrow let's take off so we're here at a aroma beach resort and this place was less than 20 minutes from my house and the funny thing is is i've only been here once and i really didn't get to explore it or see anything because my mother-in-law was actually having her uh, 60th, birth 60th birthday party. Um, we were meeting everyone here for lunch. So we came over here and it was very cloudy, uh, you know, just bad timing. Um, they had rented a spot and we got here and then next thing you know, it started pouring out. So I brought the drone and the, and the GoPro, but it wasn't anything to look at, but it's actually, it's a really, it's a really nice place. It's really set up nicely so they have all these cottages in the back that you can see and you can rent these some of these are rooms to rent overnight some are just ones that you would rent for the day um there's actually a little gym over here it's nothing it's nothing crazy but it's the only resort i've seen within close to an hour in any direction that has a gym so that's uh that's a big plus I'll show you guys some footage of the pool. It's it's good size, it's decent. Um, I didn't know there was a pool within a half an hour of my house. I thought I was the only one that had one. Um, but yeah, they have one. And we rented a, uh, looks like they're having a meeting. I'll walk this way. Um, they have areas over there on the beach, we'll walk over to that, where you can rent to have, um, you know, fiestas, they call it over here, more of like a, a cookout area on the ocean. And it's really nice. So the ones that were right in the sand were 250 for the day, 250 peso, which is, you know, less than $5 USD. And then we got the larger one that was cement and it has its own grill. And that one was $3.50, which is $7. Um, and it came with everything that we needed. And these ones I checked. Uh, my mother-in-law rented that large one over there last week. Uh, they told me that was uh, 2,000 peso. And then that one right there I was told was 10,000 peso for an entire day, which that's good size. They were holding a wedding in there when we came here last week. so. Unfortunately, I wasn't gonna record any of that with the with the weather. It wasn't a very good environment But now that I'm back over here, it's it's nice to show everyone. So they have a good sized parking area There's quite a few vehicles there um, And I really like the restaurant surprisingly I'm gonna walk this way only because they're having like a, a seminar inside, but The restaurant has quite the extensive menu. I was very surprised by it I mean usually the little places around here you see I hate to say it, but kind of all the same things. Uh, you know, your French fries, your onion rings, which don't really taste like onion rings. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, your, your typical pork and chicken and things like that. Um, but the menu in there was, was surprisingly, it was, it was good size. I really liked it. Uh, so we ordered a few items, but we didn't order that that much. 
really nice here. Really is pretty. I'm not trying to get sidetracked, but just a wonderful atmosphere. So, yeah, we didn't uh, order too too much because my wife actually brought a lot of uh, fish and rice and stuff like that. But I told her to get a couple things so we could see how how the menu was. And let me walk this way. Yeah, so these are all the uh, cottages that are for rent for the night or the weekend or you know however long you want to stay of course and then we'll walk over to the ones on the beach that that we have but it's a it's a really nice place it really is it's quite spacious so they also have a good size volleyball court and a basketball court and I am definitely the only foreigner here and I have a big selfie stick so I'm sure uh, everyone's gonna look at me but that's all right I've gotten used to it I guess You know I say this in all my videos but I absolutely love the Philippines just for the fact that I can drive 15 minutes from my house and just hang out at a at a gorgeous beach resort like this and don't get me wrong if you've watched any of my videos in my house I feel like I live at a beach resort but um, it's nice to go see something new and you know see different beach so to speak and different environment and try new food and everyone is just so happy and friendly even the people in the seminar, I walked in there not knowing. <laughs> all like, oh, good afternoon. <laughs> oh, my, my own hapoon. They're all so friendly, even though I would kind of like walked in the middle of their, uh, their seminar. All right, so I'm going to try this again because there's a seminar over here, which isn't loud, but it's loud enough where, you know, I'm trying to talk to the microphone, of course, and there's music playing on the beach. So I'm trying to uh, actually get this recorded and not pick up the music and not have the audio just be listening to that because so i can uh, get rid of it later but yeah here are the um the little ones on the beach that i was talking about these ones are 700 yeah 700 sorry 700 these these ones are 350 peso for the day i don't know what time they open to tell you the truth we got here at like 10 or 11. um i know they open earlier than that and then i'm told the ones all the way down at the other end I haven't walked down that far. Those ones are 250 because I'm told they're a little bit smaller, but they're actually on the sand, so they don't have like a cement patio, so to speak. But it's a pretty simple beach. It's nothing too too crazy. It's not huge by any means, but it's it's very clean and there's not a lot around here. But I love this place because you can look up there and it's just a mountain view. I'm trying to make sure I can capture that all the way around there. And then when you look across, I mean, it's gorgeous water. And then what you're seeing is Cebu. So we're so close to it, but uh, the price is a lot cheaper being on this island. And actually right over there, uh, you're not going to be able to see it with the GoPro, unfortunately, but that's actually the Manhoya sandbar. A lot of the locals call it the Baya sandbar. So most of the time when I say Manhoyot sandbar, they'll say, no, buy a sandbar. But when you're in Manhoyot or Bendoy, then they say, no, it's no, it's the Manhoyot sandbar. Um, so it goes back and forth. But I'm not going to, you know, argue with Filipinos, of course. So it's, you know, whatever they call it. But I believe it's technically the Manhoyot sandbar. sandbar. So I just wanted to add the um, entrance fee slash parking fee, whatever you want to call it. That was a uh, 20 peso a person. So if, if you're just coming here to hang out on the beach and grill food and hang out with friends and stuff like that, it's 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 almost nothing. I mean, it's only 20 peso. And then, uh, like I said, I already listed the cottage prices. So I'll make sure to put a link for their website and their Facebook page in the description. More than likely, they just have a Facebook page. I noticed. A lot of the businesses around here, they, they actually won't have any type of website, which is kind of funny, um, but they will rely on Facebook as their primary source of, you know, marketing and showing who they are on the internet. So I wish they did that a little bit differently because um, a lot of them, unfortunately, they're not checking on it that often. So you'll go to a company and look for a product and they haven't posted anything in, you know, a month or two when you ask them a question and then you know they may or may not get back to you so i can't speak for this place um we reach out to them and they responded to us that morning so i mean they've seemed pretty good about it and i know my mother-in-law rented the cabin over there for everyone 
um, and she said they were great to work with. So they came in, came here prior to check everything out, um, and they are really happy with it. But this is the closest place that's this size to where we live. Salamat. So here is the uh, pool area. It's actually uh, really nice. A um, little jealous. So of course, I don't want to pool this big and take up my whole yard, but <laughs> um, it is really nice. They got a little uh, hot tub area over here. I really like how it's made. It's definitely, definitely good quality. Uh, nice craftsmanship. Very nice chairs. So, I mean, I'm very surprised about this because the few pools that I've seen at some of the smaller resorts, they're not very well done so to speak you can tell that they're um they don't have the best uh furniture and they're definitely not filtering as often as they should but this one this is really kept up nicely um i have to say this is uh very nice over here so and they actually keep this all locked up so there's no one over here right now i'm sure it's busier other times but when i came up here it was actually the little bridge to get over here was even locked and there's no one inside so I actually went and got the uh, security guard um, and just told him I wanted to walk around the court for a couple minutes so I could show everyone. And yeah, I mean, definitely a nice pool. Really is. Got a little pool area up here and then it leads down to the, the larger one. I don't know how deep that is. I'll have to ask. Filipinos are very small people, so I would imagine it's not too deep. It, de it doesn't look it. Um, but either way, I like the uh, table sitting area over there. And then, yeah, a little stairs going up to this one. And no, oh, it's definitely nice. I like it here. But another big thing that I love about these kind of areas is, I'm gonna try to capture this, but you look around and it's just the uh, gorgeous mountains everywhere. It's really tough to capture something like that on a GoPro, but, um, I mean, I'll throw up the drone so you guys can see like an aerial shot of what's around me. But you're just driving down a, a little road off of the highway and there's just fish ponds on both sides of you. I mean, there's nothing. And then you just keep going by all the fish ponds and I'm not joking. And then you keep going and then you get to a little gate and then it's a, yeah, a nice, a really nice resort. And yeah, here's a little bridge I was talking about. A lot of fish over here surprisingly there's actually no funny smell i was a little concerned with all the fish ponds that there might be uh, some type of odor but no there really isn't so all in all this is uh an excellent little resort and it's another big reason why i, I love the philippines not because they have amazing beach resorts the uh lock this for the security guard but um the fact that it's just such a beautiful island i can leave my house in 15 minutes in any direction and see something exotic so i love it salamat yeah really nice place i'm gonna try to be a little quiet looks like they have uh, some type of family meeting in there yes yeah, so you have uh, additional rooms for rent over here and you even have a uh, Nice good size one over there. Well, it's actually three, but there's a nice uh, balcony on top of it. Um, and then again, you got some more uh, cottage rentals down here. You can tell they're just wrapping these three up. They're actually building them right now and bringing in more cement. My own hapun. Love everyone here. Everyone's so friendly. Walking around in the States with a big selfie stick and a couple of cameras and a microphone. Everyone gives you a funny look or stares at you or I don't know, whatever, but in the Philippines, <laughs> they usually just try to jump in the photo and then make small talk. Uh, yeah, really nice place. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I am going to uh, go get ice cream because I don't think it'd be fair to test this beach resort and give them a good or bad review without seeing how the ice cream is. And I never eat sweets, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, thank everyone for watching and plenty more videos to come now that I'm able to walk around. A little painful, but I'm, uh, I'm doing a lot better than I was the last uh, month and a half anyways. I was in pretty rough shape, so I might do a vlog at some point on how my three hospital and two doctor visits went. Um, definitely entertaining to say the least, but all in all, I got great service and the prices were just ridiculously low. My her first hospital visit with medication came out to, I think it was like six dollars or something and i just kind of sh 
shook my head and I was, I was like, wait, what? You mean 60 or 600? And they're like, no, sir. And I'm like, okay, all right. That's, uh, I don't know, so pro just shocking. Um, I had the best insurance there was in the US and they still would have charged me a hundred times that even with my insurance. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna walk over, talk to the wife, get some ice cream and yeah, head home. But we only have a couple minute drive and when you live here, at least where I live, I mean, I don't live in the city. So obviously if I lived in Manila, driving home would be, well, you know, it's driving in Manila, but out here and where I live, it's just amazing. I mean, I go for a 10, 15, 20 minute ride and it doesn't matter. I could go get gas or just go out and run, get food. And I'm just smiling the whole time thinking it's like this amazing road trip because it's so gorgeous. Um, people all over the US would travel just to drive down the road that I see every day. And when I say that, I mean, I've taken, you know, the scenic routes going from uh, California to Vegas going over the mountains and the King and Mangus Highway if you know New England and, the, and those kind of things and they're they're gorgeous but uh, living around here it's honestly it's twice as beautiful and it's just uh, driving to the market so I just I enjoy every day that I'm here so all right thank you again for watching